Hey guys, hope this is in focus. It's uh, about 17 degrees out and uh, it's so cold I'm not taking my gloves off. And uh, so I have to operate my phone with, with my nose. I'm sure some of you can relate to that. Um, but anyway, I wanted to shoot this uh, video because I want to show you the tenacity of worms when it gets in you know down below freezing and even in the sing single digits now I live in southern Johnson County here in Kansas and you can google it whatever you can check out the uh, what temps it got to we we were in the single digits this morning and I got some boards down here that are frozen and look at this this is solid but I'm going to show you that there are worms I don't see any under that board here's another one Believe it or not, now I've been seeing them. I was hoping to find some underneath this board. There's one. There's one right there. Look at that. It's moving. I'm sure it's pretty cold. And it's probably... probably just uh, in survival mode right now but uh, man there it just shows you that if you create a pile with a bunch of leaves and you put there's there's another one it's probably so cold it doesn't even want to move But, uh, you know, when you create a big leaf litter pile with, it doesn't even have to be leaf litter, it, it could be uh, other type of uh, high carbon materials. And then it, somewhere in the center there, you, you can put some nitrogen, kitchen scraps or whatever. Uh, and then you cover it up with a, another mound of, of leaves, hay, straw, whatever. Um, put this back over and get them out of the wind that uh, you know they're gonna survive and they're gonna do a lot lot better though underneath that tarp and uh, all that insulation so anyway I thought this would be kind of neat to show you guys that <clears throat> it's 17 degrees out right now and uh, they they do good they live they their, their cocoons live throughout the winter no matter how cold it gets come springtime uh, the cocoons hatch and you've got even more worms so uh, again I hope this gives you guys ideas ideas it gives you hope uh, for those that are just getting into it um, uh, this is how it is and it's been like this for thousands of years and uh, anyway Hope that uh, does some good, and uh, I'll see you next time.